Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Noron. So I've got another game today where we're gonna do multiple word meanings or words that sound the same but mean two different things. So the last time we did this, we did some games and we had bat and bat, same sounding word. The word sounds the same, but it had two different meanings. So one bat was the baseball bat that you swing and hit a baseball with, and the other bat was the animal bat that flies, okay? So those are multiple word meanings. Another one we had um, that I did at the end of the video on my own was wave and wave. So wave could be like you're waving to say hello to somebody or wave like the ocean wave, okay? So we're gonna do the game again today. This is with my second set of cards and I want you to help me try to find the picture that matches with the same word but has a different meaning. And then at the end, you can um, try to think of your own as well. All right, you ready? All right, the first one I have is a knight. This kind of knight is like um, what you would find like in the castle. He's kind of like a soldier. He protects the castle and he's called a knight, okay? Um, he starts with a K, but the K is what we call silent. It doesn't make a sound, okay? So this is the kind of knight like a soldier, okay? What other kind of knight can you think of? What else can knight be? Let's see our cards and see if you can figure it out, okay? I have this picture. I have this picture of somebody typing a message on a phone. I have this person, they're waving. I have this little girl. I have this animal. And then I have this picture. All right, so which one do you think night could be? Would it be my animal, texting a message, waving goodbye or hello, saying your prayers, the animal duck, or the moon and the stars for night? How about the moon and the stars? So they both are night. This knight is like a soldier who fights and defends the castle, protects the castle. This night means nighttime when the moon and the stars come out. Okay, night and night. They sound the same, but they mean two different things. All right, let's do the next one. Are you ready? This is a person covering their head and they're ducking so they don't get hit or hurt. So if somebody says, watch out, duck, and you go like this, um, you're trying to protect yourself from getting hurt. Sometimes when somebody hits a ball or throws a ball and it goes too far, they might say duck. All right, so they're telling you to duck, to cover your head, watch out, don't get hit, don't get hurt. All right, so they're ducking, they're ducking, duck. I want you to think, what else is a duck? What else can duck mean? All right, let's look at our cards and see what you think. All right. Is it this one? What about this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? If you said this one, you are right. So we have duck and duck. Duck and cover, like you duck and cover your head so you don't get hurt or hit. And then the animal duck. Where would we find the animal duck? Probably at like a pond, right? All right, so one's an animal. It's a noun, it's a thing, it's an animal, and this duck is something you do. We call that, it's a big fancy word called a verb. It's something you do, okay? All right, let's try the next one. All right, on this one here, I have an eagle catching a fish to eat it. All right, so he's catching his prey. Prey, P-R-E-Y, prey. That's called his prey. So the eagle is the predator, because he hunts other animals. The animal he caught, the fish, is his prey. He caught his prey. 
What else could pray mean? What else can pray mean? Think about it. All right, let's see if you're right. Let's look at our cards. Would this be another meaning for pray? How about this one? How about this one? How about this one? Which one do you think it is? All right, if you said this one, you're right. The little girl is doing what? She's praying, okay? She's saying her nightly prayers right before bedtime. So pray can mean two things. Pray like you pray to God, a prayer that you're praying, or pray like the animal that gets eaten, okay? So the animal that gets eaten is a prey, and this prey is P-R-A-Y, like you're saying your nightly prayers. All right, let's go to the next one. Here I have, do you know what this is called? This is called a letter, okay, and it's in an envelope. And when you write a letter, you start out by saying, dear, and then the person's name. So if you were writing a letter to Santa Claus, you would say, dear Santa Claus. That's called the greeting or the introduction when you start it off. So you know who it's going to, who your letter is going to. So we say dear, D-E-A-R. So the letter is actually, we're going to say for dear, dear, because that's how you start a letter. So you know who it goes to, dear Santa Claus. I have been good this year. Please bring me a superhero. Love, Miss Norod. Okay, that would be my letter. All right, so dear for the letter. What else does dear mean? What else can be a dear? Think about it. All right, let's check our cards that we have left. Could it be this one? What about this one? Or this one? Which one do you think also means deer? If you said the animal deer, you are right. So a deer can be the animal or deer can be the way you start writing a letter. All right, we've got two left. All right, my next one, what do you see right here? You see a book. If you look closely, it's hard to see, but it's got some lines on it for the words and a pen. So the words in a book is also called text. Say that with me, text. All right, so the words in a book is also called the text of the book, okay? So I want you to think, what else means text? What else can be text? What other thing do you know about that we call a text. What else can text mean? All right, let's check our pictures. Would it be typing a message on a phone to send to somebody? Or is it this person waving? What do you think? Text. All right, so if you said typing a message on a phone, you are right. That's sending a text message. Okay, you probably know about that. You probably see moms and dads, and you may have even sent a text message. Okay, so when you type on a phone or even an iPad and you send a message to somebody, it's called a text message. So if somebody's saying, hey, send me a text, they're talking about a text on the phone. Text can also be words in a book. All right, so text and text. Something um, you do, and then a noun, a thing, something in a book, all right? All right, let's see if our last ones make sense. I'm gonna start with this one, because you've seen it already. All right, he is waving by, by. He is waving by. What else can the word by mean? What do you think? What else can by mean besides telling somebody goodbye? All right, let's see what I have on my card. What is this right here? 
all right? They're giving money. When you buy something, you go to the store, you find something you want, and then you pay for it. So buy can mean buying or getting something at the store. Buy can be waving goodbye. Can you think of one more type of buy? I don't have a card for it. See if you can think of where else would you have heard the word buy? All right, how about on a book? All right, when we read the book and we have the author's name, we say buy, and then we say the author's name. So buy can mean three things. You can have somebody buying something, somebody waving goodbye, and then you could also hear the word buy when somebody's reading you a story and they say, how to catch the Easter Bunny by Adam Wallace and Andy Ellerton. All right, so when they say buy here, they don't mean this kind of buy like you're waving and they don't mean buy like you're buying it with money. They're saying buy, B-Y, somebody who wrote the story, okay? All right, boys and girls, I hope you had fun on our game today. See what other words you can think of that might sound the same but mean two different things. We did this yesterday. I gave you an example. All right, so go see if you can think of something new. Either draw a picture and send it to your teacher, or you can just text her a message and tell her the two other words words you thought of that sound the same but mean something different. We call that multiple word meanings. That just means the words sound the same but they don't mean the same thing. All right boys and girls have a good week. Bye!